Swatika, everybody! Welcome to our very first day of exploring around Chiang Mai. And what better way could there be than going to the local market? So today we will be having a look at the Wararus market. Let's do this. So guys, we're feeling pretty hungry. It is relatively early on in the day, just I think after midday. We haven't had any breakfast yet. And um, this place is known for its food and I think we discovered where the food is here. It is a pretty large market and there's so much going on. There seems to be so many different things that you can buy and look at. And this is truly our first proper experience in Chiang Mai ever since we arrived. It has kind of been not so great weather-wise and that's because we're coming into the rainy season. But we're really happy to have found the food and let's go and try some. I have to tell you something. Sometimes we are too lazy to actually go out to these markets, but we still want to enjoy the amazing Thai cuisine, which is why. This video is sponsored by Grab Food. We will never recommend an app or service that we don't actively use. And that's why we can confidently speak about Grab Food, because we literally use it every day when we can't be bothered to cook ourselves. Grab Food is the number one delivery app in Thailand, and we can see why with its unlimited options and customizable menu features. Before we even came to Thailand, we've been hearing all about them from friends and locals who live here. The two biggest reasons why we love Grab Food are the convenience and the massive variety. Grab Food now has a handy English translation to help us foreigners easily understand what exactly we're ordering and this certainly has saved us from getting mouth-numbingly spicy dishes in the past. The variety will simply blow you away and I can tell you that we have both spent hours scrolling around drooling on this user-friendly interface. And here is the best part. Use code GRABNOW to get yourself free delivery. Yesterday we actually um, met a really really nice guy in the mall and he was saying that we should definitely try the lu, which seems to be the dish to go for here in Chiang Mai. It's sort of, from what I understood, like a blood pork soup uh, and we're currently trying to find it but obviously we cannot read in Thai and uh, these types of letters here are they're obviously never going to say Lou so um, we don't really know what to look for but maybe we can just ask so we just talked to the lady here that is in charge, the lady in charge if you want. And uh, she said they don't have any lu, but if you want anything that is very, very uh, typical Chiang Mai, it is uh, khao soy. So we just got the khao soy kai, which is uh, with chicken, and we got a khao soy meatball. So those two, ooh, and they're already cooking. Khao soy chicken. <laughs> oh, chicken. Ooh, chicken. Wow. It's chili. Nice. Kapunaka. Kapunaka. You want a drink? A drink, yeah, sure. Uh, let's have a look. You want any cheese? You want uh, a black tea, maybe? I'll have a Thai milk tea. Oh, Thai milk tea. Uh, milk tea? Yeah. And black coffee. Okay. Yeah, no sugar. No <laughs> Got that sorted as well. How so we got. This looks absolutely beautiful. So um, I ordered the one with Thai milk tea, uh, black coffee. Mm -hmm. So we got our cow soy here, and uh, it's sort of a noodle soup. I went with the chicken, and Luke went with the meatball. You obviously, you have some um, nice cilantro or coriander on top nice bit of noodles and these ones here look very interesting as well sort of looks like a crispy noodle maybe yeah. crispy noodle mm, crispy noodle yeah super good very very nice and I am really curious as to what the broth actually tastes like let's give the broth a try <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit in disbelief. It's very, very tasty. It's sort of like, I want to say curry coconut, oh, wow. lemongrass type of a thing. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. It actually, very unique flavor. I want to say there's ginger, curry, coconut milk in there. Maybe some lemongrass, yeah. And then obviously it's very rich with the noodles and uh, the chicken in there. So it's probably going to be... Super tasty! 
Should I just, I don't know, do you go with the in with the hands? Sure. Ah, oh, it's so hot. It's oh, so no. hot. Good. Oh yeah, the chicken is beautiful. It's super tender. Um, very, very tasty. Actually, very surprising taste. It's nothing like I have ever tasted before in uh, Bangkok before, like the six weeks that we have been here. This is a very, very new taste in terms of Thai cuisine and it's very good. Right guys, so very, very excited. This is supposedly the must try dish when you visit Chiang Mai is cow soy. We've read it online and we've also been told as well by quite a lot of locals. And um, to accompany the cow soy, I went with a Thai tea. And if you know us, you know that we love our Thai tea. It is really, really addictive. Top Gun Cab, we're just getting our change now. <laughs> we got our change for our drinks. Uh, <laughs> make sure to put that away and store it well. But um, yeah, Thai tea, it has become a bit of a, an addiction. And it's something that we've had many times. But something that we have not had many times, and it's our first time, is the cow soy. And uh, Naomi really seems to love it. So she basically got the cow soy chicken and I went for cow soy with meatballs. So let's see. Again, I'm terrible with chopsticks, but just look at how great this looks. It looks incredible. You've got a beautiful broth. I'm gonna grab a meatball straight away and try it out. Let's do it. Mm, oh my God, that's so good. Uh, very thick, very dense meatball. Not chewy at all, it kind of almost melts in your mouth, which is amazing. I'm gonna try these crispy noodles too. This is the part of the cow soy that always kind of confused me. Whenever I think about a soup, I think of like that, you know, just oily sort of brothy texture. I never really think about adding something crispy to a soup. So this is a whole different dimension, I think, of flavor here. <laughs> like Bugs Bunny. Oh my God, really good. Crispy, it's a little bit salty. Those crispy ones are salty and sweet, I think. Meatballs are incredible quality meat, which is really good. And um, last thing I think I'll try is just a little bit of this broth. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Looks amazing. Oh my God. It almost kind of tastes like satay. Like, you know, like satay peanut sauce. Hmm. That's what it tastes like. Not spicy at all, which is a nice change because a lot of Thai food can be very, very spicy. But we love spice, thankfully, so we love everything Thai food. But this cow soy is really incredible. Oh, and you do have the option, if you want, to add some chilies. So that is always an option for you. You do always have that extra on the side of chilies or peanuts or you know salt and sweet you can make it whatever way that you desire and this for me nine out of ten i would give it in terms of food that we've tried so far in thailand we absolutely love this this thai tea is absolutely delicious and um to be honest all of the traveling that we've been doing, I've never actually liked a drink so much as a Thai tea. It's been sort of like a staple on a day-to-day -day basis whenever we're out exploring. And um, this one here is incredible. Um, you can ask for to have it less sweet or to have it more sweet. Everything in Thailand is entirely... Everything in Thailand is, is entirely customizable. So that's the best part is, especially when you come to these types of markets, if you pick an item and you do want it a certain way, you literally can tell them from start to finish. If communication is not an issue, you can tell them start to finish exactly how you like it. And I love this right here.
ให้พ่อค้าแม่ค้านะคะเก็บของขึ้นให้เรียบร้อยด้วยค่ะขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณค่ะ I cannot um, get over the taste of the cow soy noodle soup. It's absolutely beautiful. And I think it's very, very interesting because it's so, so different from the rest of Thailand, or at least the rest of what we have experienced so far. This uh, broth here that you can see that I'm currently drizzling back into the soup. It's such a unique and such a different flavor. and. Um, I don't know, I just didn't expect this at all. I thought we were going to experience sort of very familiar tastes because obviously we have been in Thailand for a while. But yeah, it is absolutely different, completely different. Didn't expect it. Very surprising and uh, it's very tasty. It's so good. This market seems to have a very interesting mix of goods. Um, you have some touristy looking type of items, but you also have loads of stuff for locals. Then there is uh, textiles, clothing, fruit, vegetables and so on. But after that savory noodle soup, I feel like we want to try a little bit of a snacky type of item, maybe something sweet. And I'm eyeballing some coconut pancakes from here. So maybe we're gonna give the coconut pancakes a try. Uh, it's possible to do a mix. Order oh, here. Okay. Right. Uh, how many do we want? Uh, five for twenty one. Uh, five. Check. Okay, check. But mix. <laughs> Very interesting color. <laughs> Butterfly pea. It's blue color. Butterfly pea. Oh. Ah, Butterfly pea. Okay. Butterfly pea. Very, nice. very tasty. Yeah. Ah. Top cup. Top cup. <laughs> Usually the butterfly pea, uh, I had it in like tea drinks before, but I never had it in food. So it's actually, it's, it's going to be my very first time trying a butterfly pea food item. Check oh, this out. Look at the color. The color is so cool. Mmm, very good. So I tasty, remark. I remark. Mmm, ah, oh, that's very good. Mmm. You want to give it a try? Here we go, guys. This strange, almost like an alien, alien blue color. That's Excuse very me? good. <laughs> that's very good. Incredible. Let's try the other ones. Now, this one's here. I feel like they are sort of your typical coconut pancakes. Uh, we have seen these ones a lot of times, but never the blue and white ones. So I'm just gonna give the OG of coconut pancakes a try. Oh yeah, it's so good. The texture is lovely. Sometimes when you go to certain street vendors, it has a little bit more of a gooey type of texture. But this one is super, super fresh and very, very tasty. And I wanna give the white one to try. I don't know what differentiates this one from the purple one. What's that? I don't know. Good. It tastes like um it tastes like they added some sticky rice or something to it. Nice. It, it tastes a little bit like your mango sticky rice like but just the sticky rice mm -hmm. part not the mango part. Mm -hmm. Just like a cozy, warm, nice, feel-good <laughs> type of snack. Mm, I think I p I, the white ones are my favorite. Yeah, they look They're really good. so good. Looks like a sticky rice coconut pancake. Mm, so nice. nice. Cool. Oh I'm dying to try it. One sec. Okay, so based off of Naomi's reaction, I really, really want to try the white one. Very interesting. What? That's incredible. Very different and it does taste like warm sticky rice inside of a coconut pancake. Yeah. This This would go perfectly with a, a nice hot cup of cocoa, I think. 
sitting by an open fire during the winter. <laughs> Very cozy little snack. I love it. Want to give the original one a try as well? Oh yeah. I haven't even tried the actual original coconut pancake, like the purple taro flavor. So we've had these ones before in a couple of different market situations in Bangkok and we were never really fully impressed by the different ones that we tried but let's see what this one here is like here in Chiang Mai yeah it's different this woman knows what she's doing when it comes to these coconut pancakes she seems to be whipping them up fresh selling out and turning over the product which is something you always want to look for in markets you never want to come and have the product sitting around all day and no one's buying it because then it's obviously going to go stale. These are really fresh and really delicious. On our way here, we were actually thinking that this is going to be a very, very busy market because the traffic was absolutely insane. It took us like, I don't know, I want to say 40 minutes just to go um, four kilometers in the car. Um, but surprisingly, even though it's it's the weekend, it's afternoon, it's nice weather outside. Um, this market is actually not crazy busy. So you do have some people, like a nice amount of people, but it's not like overwhelmingly busy, you know, where you really have to pay attention where you're stepping, where you're walking and so on. So it's actually really, really nice. And now we're on the lookout for the next snack. I actually don't know what we're going to go for. Uh, I sort of see some fried chicken there in the distance, maybe some fruit. Hmm, this looks like some sort of dumplings maybe, like something with dough. It looks very, very interesting, but I have no idea what it is. Actually would have to ask. One, 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 just mix. One ten? Ah, oh, one is ten baht. Ah, okay. Yeah, try it. All right. We have a bag full of snacks. Um, we basically, Naomi was walking just there in the last clip and she stumbled across these. And to be honest, it's not anything that we've seen since we've arrived, even in Asia, like not even just in Thailand we haven't seen these anywhere so far in Asia so very very interesting they seem to be some sort of a puff pastry type of dish um, they look a little bit like an empanada no? like an empanada yeah <laughs> similar this is basically what it is it's like a almost like a phyllo type of crusty dough and we'll see what it's filled with I have no idea Full of surprises today. What is hmm. it? <laughs> it's so flaky and warm. Oh, it's like it's like biting into a crispy pillow, and it seems to be filled with a taro-flavored cream. Sorry, I just. All this dough is just kind of building inside my mouth. But it's basically like a sweet potato taro, sweet flavored cream on the inside. I was not expecting it to be sweet. I thought it was gonna be savory. Yeah. Very interesting. And you could spend all day literally chewing on this. It's very good, very different, really warm, soft squidgy taro on the inside very creamy and the outside is very flaky and crispy so it's literally unlike anything that i've ever tried in my life very good though you want to give this a try yes please let's give this bad boy a try This is very different. Mm. Yeah. I do think as well that it's uh, with taro because obviously you have a little bit of this oh, of this purple um, 
purple cream, cur purple custard nearly inside of there, but it's not sweet sweet. So it's a little bit like salty and sweet at the same time. I feel like it's not like crazy, you know, in your face sugar or honey or whatever. It's just like a very subtle taro sweetness um, with this fila dough. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is beautiful. And um, the dough really sort of is very flaky, very crumbly, a little bit buttery. It's super good. Very interesting. I would like to know what this is actually called. I, don't, I have no idea. If you know the name, Richard, put it down in the comments below, please. And further away, we saw they have dinosaurs on a stick. I don't know what it is, if it's just dough or if it's maybe chicken, chicken nuggy type of thing or something, like di <laughs> dino nuggies. Uh, we will figure it out, I guess. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Fried dough. Fried dough. Fried dough. Like donuts. Yeah. Sweet or salty? Salty. Ooh. Let's try one. Let's take a. Do we have a dinosaur? Dinosaur? Yeah. <laughs> you want some dip? What dip you have? Uh, I have a pandan custard. Pandan custard. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And coconut milk. Oh, pandan. Yeah. Okay. The how much? 30. 30. Oh. Kapkun mm, Kapkunaka. <laughs> You're so cute. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Kap. <laughs> you want to eat me or take away? Oh, no, I just like this. Take away. Thank, okay. you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to put the money away without dropping my dinosaur. <laughs> Look at him. He even has a little eyeball. He's looking at you. <laughs> I'm gonna find you. <laughs> so how do you eat this? Like, do you eat it head first or tail first? <laughs> you gotta go head first. Head, the entire head. Okay, so let's let's make the dinosaur eat some pandan. <laughs> oh no! Now he looks like he's sick. <laughs> This is very nice. Mm. It's actually not as salty as I thought. It's sort of like your donut dough without any real seasoning. So it's not really sweet, but also not really savory. And then with the pandan, the pandan makes it obviously sweet. It's really tasty, really warm, nice and freshly fried, deep fried. Mm. I could eat dinosaur all day. So I have a headless fried dinosaur now. Look at and, the little um, arms. <laughs> the little like T-Rex arms. Wow. I think I'm gonna give the tail a try. Bite this tail off. Try some of this pandan cream, which Naomi and I are both massive pandan fans. Really, ever since we first tried pandan, I think we fell in love with it. It's very, very, very addictive and um, <clears throat> something again like we've never really been able to try especially because we're Europeans pandan is not really a flavor profile that is very well known in Europe so it's really special that we get to eat stuff like this here in Chiang Mai Thailand oh my god it's really good it's really nice huh? <laughs> nice fried crispy dinosaur shaped snack if you want to get in touch with your childhood <laughs> this is perfect we're eating so much today that I'm kind of like losing track but I'm still pretty hungry and ready to explore a little bit more Chiang Mai is really blowing us away and this market actually is so cool it's in like the Chinatown part of Chiang Mai and trust me guys I can see why Chiang Mai is so touristy, it's so popular with so many people. Everybody seems to love Chiang Mai. They always have so much positive things to say. I can see why dinosaur shaped fried objects on the side of the road, what's not to love?
This is the type of river where you can like really let your imagination loose. It kind of, it, to me at least, I feel like there's probably lots and lots of life in this river. Uh, I want to say probably crocodiles or monitor lizards and stuff like that. It would be very, very interesting in this area, especially with this river here, to be spending some time with maybe fishermen and see what type of life is actually existent in this river because you have very murky water. So uh, at least my imagination is going absolutely crazy, like what could possibly be living in this river. Uh, and I'm sure there's a few river monsters or something like that in here now. Um, I'm sure it's very interesting. Yeah, the reason why we actually came up to this bridge in the first place is there's a really cool looking restaurant just on the other side. Um, this whole area is so incredibly scenic and beautiful and the sun is shining finally. It has been pretty rainy as we were saying for quite some time now. In fact, ever since we really came here to Chiang Mai, it's been pretty rainy, but now the sun is blasting in our faces, and I think we're gonna go across and check this restaurant out. Let's do it. We found the main entrance to the Saiping restaurant and bar. We actually just saw it from across the river and just casually walked over here. And check out how beautiful their main entrance is. You have loads and loads of different sort of lanterns um, along the way guiding you towards the entrance very colorful and uh, with a lot of love for detail so stunning here so we just entered the Saiping restaurant and it's directly located beside the river and it's so so beautiful it's very tranquil very sort of tucked away from the hustle and bustle of the market and uh, the hustle and bustle of the traffic as well so it's very peaceful sort of like a little oasis beside the river they have a very extensive menu here and if we wouldn't have eaten so much already in the market i'm sure we would go for like a giant meal but for now we just decided to go with two italian sodas i got the peachy one and luke got the melony one and then we went with fried mushrooms and a mixed spring roll just to sort of get a little bit of a taste and see if this restaurant is any good and if it is good i'm sure we will be back for this full meal because it looks absolutely incredible Okay people, so we got ourselves some sodas. I basically went for a melon soda, uh, which is a flavor that I don't tend to go for too often because it tends to be a little bit sweet, but I need something refreshing because like we said, the sun is beating down at the moment and it is pretty warm, warmer than every other day that we've been in Chiang Mai. It just so happens to be warm on the day that we're running around the city and filming. Um, so we need a soda. And this bad boy here looks like it's nice and green, very cold, there's plenty of ice, and I even have little mini chunks of melon in there. Let's give it a try. Wow. Tastes like you just took an entire watermelon, condensed it down into a beautiful, juicy, carbonated cold drink um, really really good and um, I'm very excited as well to try some of this food this restaurant is beautiful it's called Sai Ping it's on the Ping River uh, so it all makes sense and um, yeah very very serene gorgeous colorful vibrant and sunny setting doesn't get much better than this are you sure it's watermelon taste and not like cantaloupe or something it could be like cantaloupe yeah because I'm they not... have cantaloupe in the side of the thing I am not good with my melons, but um, <laughs> yeah, this is not watermelon. This is more of like a sweet, cantaloupey, honeydew, honeydewy type of melon, but it's really tasty. I love it. I'm gonna mix this bad boy first because I feel like all of the syrupy stuff is probably at the bottom, and then the soda water is on top, and I don't want to drink pure syrup. So let's give this bad boy a try. I went with the peachy one. I think I have a peach stuck in my straw. <laughs> Nothing came out. Hmm. Now. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Hmm. I feel like 
you know this like very very synthetic peachy type of taste this is the exact opposite so you, it, it is a syrup but it's not like this overwhelming candy type sort of taste it's more of a like natural subtle peach flavor with the soda water and very refreshing actually it's super beautiful mm. All right, so tray of mixed spring rolls just came out. Oh, and I think I see the waitress actually currently bringing over the next dish. But um, let's see. Popcorn cap. Popcorn cap. Popcorn cap. Ooh, this looks good. <laughs> but yeah, tray of mixed spring rolls. Let's see what's inside. I think yours is a shrimp. Nice and crispy, yeah, actually. <laughs> I didn't even see that. You have like a shrimp tail. That's beautiful. Very crispy, very fresh, and oh so delicious as well. It's really, really good. And um, I'll just give it a quick little dip here into this green sauce. I'm assuming that is not pandan. You don't want sweet stuff with your with your prawn or your shrimp. Hmm. I can't really tell what that is. The sauce Guacamole. I mean. Maybe. Very good though. These are delicious. I'm gonna try one of these mushrooms. I don't know what type of a batter they're fried and it sort of looks a little bit like tempura, but I'm not 100%. I also don't know what type of a mushroom it is, so we are overall clueless. <laughs> oh, nice and crunchy. Mmm, that's beautiful. And there's also a dip that came with it. I think it's a... Um, looks like a vinegary oil type of a thing. Mmm, that goes perfectly together. It's so beautiful, very crunchy. Mmm, so tasty. I love it. All right, guys, so that was a fun, adventure packed day of trying food in Chiang Mai. We're both absolutely blown away and we're both totally stuffed to the brim. Absolutely full, but super satisfied. It was such a beautiful day of exploring around Chiang Mai. And uh, yeah, it's really blown us away and it's given us a great impression. But make sure to stay tuned. There's many more videos from Northern Thailand coming your way. My name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We're the Two Mad Explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. See you guys in the next Thailand adventure. Kap kap for watching. Kap kap. Bye bye. bye. bye.